The Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center's Clovis Culture Exhibit features five Clovis tools on loan from the Washington State Historical Society's Clovis Collection. On May 27, 1987, two East Wenatchee orchard workers digging a ditch to install an irrigation line discovered what they thought were gigantic arrowheads. Experts soon realized that these were actually tools created by the Clovis people living in North America 11,500 years ago, at the end of the Ice Age. The tools included pointed knives, spearheads, and handheld scrapers to remove hair from animal fur. Most were made of stone, but a few were made of bone. The Paleo-Indian Clovis people created them in a process known as napping using another hard stone to shape the tool by chipping off flakes. A few of the tools found in the East Wenatchee Orchard are more than nine inches long, longer than any other Clovis points discovered in North America. In all, 68 tools were found within a small radius, probably indicating that the Clovis people left them there with the intention of returning. The location faces one of the easy routes for reaching the top of the Columbia Plateau where waiting hunters might have ambushed animals climbing up or down the slope. The Clovis people were hunters who migrated in search of megafauna, large animals such as mammoth, mastodon, bison, and camel that once roamed across the continent. The Colombian mammoth is Washington's state fossil. It roamed the North American continent during the last ice age. These prehistoric woolly elephants that are now extinct were larger than the elephants found in our zoos today. The Clovis people would hunt the Colombian mammoths to provide food for their families. The Clovis people and megafauna disappeared around the same time. Most scientists think the cause was a catastrophic event, such as a comet or meteorite striking the Earth, causing climate change.